FX's new Impact X. Why do they like it so much? Coming up. AEAC is made possible by JSB Match Diablo, H&N Sport, Predator International, Air Arms, Crossman Corporation, Daystate, FX Air Guns, Sports Match Rings UK, Rapid Air Weapons, and Aztec Optics. And you guys know the best way to thank them. All right, guys, the FX Impact X comes to us from Sweden, and it is the successor to the Impact. It's available in 177, 22, 25, and 30. It measures 34 and a quarter inches long. It weighs 8.7 pounds, just as you see it here, to include a scope, mounts, a bottle filled with air, and a magazine full of lead. It's available in silver, black, red, blue, or gold. Comes with one magazine, and you can pick one up from the guys at Utah Air Guns for around 2,000 bucks. Now the impact is regulated. So when you fill its 480 cc carbon fiber tank to its 250 bar max, you're gonna get about 100 good shots on that regulator before it power tails off at around 125 bar. And by good, I mean with like a standard deviation of no more than three and a half feet per second across the 100. Now power comes in at a puffy 47 to 49 foot pounds of energy, which it accomplishes by pushing a 25 grain pellet to around 910 feet per second, or a 34 grain to around 810. Now the pup also takes advantage of a shrouded and silenced barrel, FX's proprietary interchangeable barrel liner system, weaver all the way around, externally adjustable power, and an externally adjustable regulator, an adjustable butt pad, and a dual stage match grade, fully adjustable trigger with manual safety. So, is it as good as they say? Minor annoyances aside, yes, it is that good, but it's expensive. At $2,000, it'll be out of the reach of a lot of people. Nonetheless, the Impact has been in an oversold position for years, and this new X model ups the ante, as well as the demand. It's just got one of those magic formulas that's as simple in its genius as it is its effectiveness on the people. Build them a quality gun that's refined, has the highest level of performance, is thoroughly tunable, and offers unprecedented versatility. As you can see in the trees around me, and here in the downrange microphone, we're dealing with some winds today. They're steady at 10 out of my 9 o'clock and are gusting to 15, but it won't matter. FX's Smooth Twist X barrel is externally crimped. What that means is that it imparts minimal rifling marks on the pellet, making them less affected by external forces like wind. And the gun itself simply overpowers it. If you're new to AEAC, pellet speed is measured by Doppler radar. From the muzzle, all the way to the target. In doing so, we can calculate energy and ballistic coefficient all along the way. These Diablo-shaped pellets are not at all slippery, but FX has recently designed a slug liner for this gun, and those will be. Changing barrel inserts, or liners as they call them, is very easy. First make sure that the gun is unloaded and that the safety is on. Then unscrew the shroud and set it aside. Pellet liners will allow you to experiment with twist rate and choke, and they cost about 110 bucks. If you want to change the caliber and length, you can do that too, but you'll need the kit, and those run about 400 bucks. For more information on liners and kits, as well as how to tune your impact, you can hit me up on my brand new sister YouTube channel, AEAC vlog. I've already got an in-depth video there that'll take you through this step by step.
Once you've done this for the first time, you'll be able to pull the liner out with your fingertips. If you can't, gently pad and grip the liner, then work it out and away from the gun. Initially, there'll be three O-rings lining the liner. Leaving them on can improve sound, and discarding them shouldn't detract from accuracy. For the making of this video, I shot without them, but you're best off to experiment. To reinstall, reverse what you just saw, and make sure the ring den goes in first. Once you've reinserted the liner, index it so that it's free floating. Don't over tighten. Seated and gently snug is plenty. Cocking and cycling the impact is fluid, and is startlingly light. But every once so often you'll get just the slightest little bit of resistance as the pellets work their way through the magazine. Speed up the process, however, and it's a non-issue. In the hands, it can feel like a box of knives, but it's narrow, flawlessly balanced, and is lightning quick. To release the magazine, cock it and point the barrel up, not down. And do take care around the ultralight safety catch. It's quite easy to mistakenly engage. Today I'm running Optisan's EVX 3-12 by 44 AO scope. And if Optisan ever gets off their hiney, you should be able to find them pretty soon over at Utah Air Guns. In size, shape, weight, performance, and cost, the EVX is a good match for the impact. At max magnification, there's no distortion around the edges. The parallax adjustment is dead on. The glass is clear and bright, and the reticle is razor sharp, if not a touch too thin. In hand and to the eye, the scope oozes quality everywhere, and all the adjustments and clicks are silky smooth. I'm really digging it. The impact's barrel system is both shrouded and moderated. The moderator sectional so you can experiment, and it all works together quite well to tame this pup's 45 foot-pounds. Filling the impact's 480cc reservoir goes like this. Remove the dust cover, attach your Foster Quick Connect, 
and fill to no more than 250 bar and once again about 100 shots later. When you're done, bleed the air in the system. Remove your fill line. And replace your dust cover. That's all there is to it. ABC 123 doesn't really matter, okay? They both kind of do the same thing. Think of the ABC or 123 on one side or the other as The 34 grain JSB King Heavies or King Heavy MK2s are probably the best pellet for this rifle. If you switch from the 600 millimeter barrel kit to the 700 millimeter barrel kit, and tune velocity to around 860 feet per second. I think some added speed will stabilize them and sync them with this barrel's twist rate. I'll be experimenting with this down the road, so be sure to keep an eye to AEAC Home and AEAC Vlog for more information. The impact's trigger is pretty good, guys. Now, it's not as clean breaking as, say, a Wildcat, a Royale, or a Streamline, but it gets the job done well enough. The first stage take-up is light, it's clean, and it comes up against a nice, well-defined stop. But there's just the slightest little bit of mush in there before it'll let off for you. One pound, 10 ounces. As earlier mentioned, I'm dealing with some harsh crosswinds today, but really they're the perfect proving ground for this pup and its unique barrel system and completely validates why so many people compete with it professionally. Here's my 100 yard view of this target, which I shot at 10X. Not only will these pellets fly true in all that wind, but through all that floating garbage as well. For the process and approach leading up to the making of each and every one of these videos, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram.
And to the 10,194 of you who do, thank you. That's all for today, guys. Now, special thanks to my friends over at Utah Air Guns for getting the Impact X into my hands to review for you. You guys know the best way to thank them for that. Now, from here, you'll want to head on over to the Air Gun Nation forum so that you can participate in the discussion thread on the Impact. I'll leave you a link on how to get there in the description down below. As for me, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, tell all your friends about us, and be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, AEAConline.com, as well as our brand new sister YouTube channel, AEAC Vlog. I'll share things in those places that won't make it here, and you guys won't want to miss out. So with that, I'm Steve Shally. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again real soon.